All right, so it's April 21st. I think I did pizza, oh, the first weekend of April last year. I'm just getting the fire going. And I start out just by making a sort of a crisscross pattern, stacking it up. And uh, I'm trying to heat the middle of the oven the most right now. And then when it's really, really super hot, I'll uh, push everything to the side and then we'll cook in the sort of in the middle and we'll cook all the way around it. So I'm just going to do this, put a few more sticks on. Uh, I've got some ash in there and then some staves from a furniture company. Um, pizza dough is rising. And then we're just going to do some pepperoni and some cheese pizzas today. Uh, have some, kids really enjoy it. And uh, come back to this in a few minutes. Get my countertop a scrub down, the oven's almost ready. Nice hot soapy water. Dry it off so the pizza dough doesn't stick. Fire's been burning for about 45 minutes or so. Pizza dough is in the house, it's looking good. Had a nice opportunity to rise. I, uh, I tend to use my welding gloves as pot holders because this is so hot. Uh, I've temped this out at around a thousand degrees before. Uh, so this handle gets pretty brutal. So be careful. I think I've used these more as pot holders than I have as welding gloves. But they will stay in the heat so it works well. I'm gonna uh, go get the dough and my other stuff, toppings. Come back out and get it going. Alright, so I got my mise en place here. A little bit of cornmeal down. Grab my dough. I'll work from the middle out so we have that nice edge. I think it's nice and light and fluffy. Stretch it out about a 9 or a 10 inch pizza. Nice and thin. All right, so I'm gonna get the oven ready. Stand my door up. Take my little rake here. Push all the clothes to the back. A bunch of them on the sides. So, so like that. I got this little rake, this little hole that I've bent so I can push the coals up to the edge. Okay, it's nice and hot. Throw a couple of sticks on. I find that it browns up better if there's some flame in there. Make all the ashes in the back as well. We'll get the pizza ready. Slide that in there in just a minute. Give a couple minutes to cool down. I want it to cook too, too fast. About two minutes. A little bit of cornmeal in the peel. Place the dough on. Some tomato sauce, not too much. It's only going to cook for a couple minutes, so we can't have too much on there. Spread it out. Try not to get anything on the peel. Cheese, 
Again, not too, too much. This one's going to be just cheese. A little bit of good olive oil. And that's ready for the oven. Just make sure it slides. We'll put it in. All right. Here we go, take the door off. Looks good. I'll throw another little piece in there. Get it going. Piece in the back. Slide the piece in. First one of 2018. After about a minute, we'll turn it and then we'll let it go about another minute. And we'll let it cool and we'll eat it. See the crust is puffing up. Cheese and sauce is starting to boil. There we go. It's looking good. You can hear it sizzling. Cheese is starting to brown. So I'll slide this in. Gently pull it out. Spin it. Slide it back in for another minute, maybe 45 seconds. Browning up nicely. Looks good. Smells amazing. Slide it out just to check it. See? It's nice and brown. Crust is brown. The black is like the best part. If you want it to bubble up a little bit more, you just hold it up here where the heat is rolling up and out the chimney. And you get a little bit more color on it a little quicker. Although my hand's getting quite hot sitting there. There you go. The first pizza of 2018.